Californium-98, an isotope of Californium, has an intriguing history marked by its discovery in the early 1950s. The element Californium itself was first synthesized in 1950 by a team led by Alba Chiorso and Glenn T. Siebold at the University of California, Berkeley. However, it was not until 1952 that the isotope Californium-98 specifically was identified. Before we dive into today's exploration of the mind, do us a favor, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button below. Ready to expand your mind? Let's dive in. Properties Californium, a synthetic element, exists in two forms under normal pressure, a solid metal and a gaseous phase. Under high pressure, it takes on a third form, possibly with different properties. When exposed to air, it tarnishes gradually and it is highly reactive, being readily attacked by steam and acids. However, Californium-3 is the stable ion in aqueous solutions and remains unaffected by oxidation or reduction processes. One of the notable characteristics of Californium is its use in compounds that exhibit various properties. For instance, Californium-252 is a potent emitter of neutrons, making it valuable in neutron radiography and in initiating nuclear reactions. Additionally, Californium compounds can display covalent properties similar to Californium borate, highlighting its versatile chemistry. Despite its importance, Californium is not found naturally on Earth. It is primarily produced in nuclear facilities and research laboratories, often in the vicinity of nuclear reactors. Its applications span from medical diagnostics, where it is used in neutron capture therapy for cancer treatment, to mineral prospecting, where its neutron emission helps analyze geological structures. Uses of Californium Neutron startup source in nuclear power plants Californium is utilized as a neutron source for initiating nuclear reactions in nuclear power plants. Its high neutron flux makes it suitable for this purpose. Neutron activation analysis for trace element detection. NAA is a technique used to detect trace elements in samples. Californium's neutron emission allows it to activate materials, making it possible to identify and quantify trace elements accurately. Neutron radiography. Neutron radiography is a non-destructive imaging technique used to inspect the internal structure of objects. Californium's ability to penetrate materials with neutrons makes it useful in this application, especially for dense or thick objects. Portable metal detectors. Californium-based neutron sources can be used in portable metal detectors due to their ability to penetrate materials effectively. This is particularly useful for security screening applications. Medical applications in cancer treatment Californium-252 is used in brachytherapy, a form of radiotherapy, for treating various types of cancers, including brain and cervical cancers. The neutron emissions from Californium-252 can target cancerous cells with precision, helping to destroy tumors while minimizing damage to surrounding healthy tissue. Health Effects Californium is not utilized in biological systems due to its highly radioactive nature. Its radioactivity poses significant hazards to health, making it unsuitable for biological applications. This element's radioactive decay emits alpha and beta particles as well as gamma rays, which can penetrate tissues and damage cells at the molecular level. Radioactive exposure can lead to mutations in DNA, disrupting the genetic code and potentially causing cell death or abnormal cell growth. These effects are cumulative, meaning that repeated exposure over time can lead to a greater risk of genetic damage. Thanks for exploring with us today. If you're hungry for more videos, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Until next time, stay curious.